continuing on our journey from our last time that we uh, all met, um, wanted to go a little bit deeper into the Microsoft Graph Toolkit. As I promised, the last time that we met, we said that we were wanted to go within every single component, understanding how to really leverage Microsoft Graph Toolkit in your own solutions. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to stop at the login component, where we'll be looking at how can you leverage the Microsoft Graph Toolkit as a way to get authentication working inside your application and how this could um, deliver some value around the login component. But before we go any further, I'd like to remind folks a little bit of, of concept around the Microsoft Graph Toolkit. So the Graph Toolkit is a collection of reusable framework agnostic components and authentication providers that allows you to access and work with the Microsoft Graph. Um, the components are fully functional. You can customize them and they work with any web framework and they work on all modern browsers. For today, we will be using the Microsoft Graph Toolkit as a vanilla HTML and JavaScript component. So we're really going to use the um, web components approach here. Nothing crazy, really kind of the basic stuff here. I don't want to go into um, any framework specific uh, capabilities just yet. That's going to be for way later in that um, series of videos. Why do you care? about the Graph Toolkit? Well, first, if you're like me, and I, I'm, I'm proud to say it, I'm, I'm a very lazy developer, and I love to cut on dev time. I don't necessarily like to build UI components. I really focus on the value that I can bring to my app and, and to my business, and that's why we be believe that the Graph Toolkit really cuts down on development time. It's also already beautiful. So when you build with the Graph uh, Toolkit, it looks great within your applications, but it's also very flexible. So if you want to build something that seems like a, an M365 um, component, just use one of our components. But if you want to customize it, you can fully customize the way the Microsoft Graph Toolkit looks like. And finally, it works everywhere. So it works on any type of browser, on any type of framework. It even works in some rich applications when you're using um, Electron, for example. So it really brings your knowledge, your skills to a ton of different platforms. So today we're going to talk about the login component, which is, I would say, the basic component to start with because it really delivers the the initial value of uh, the Microsoft Graph Toolkit, which is to connect you directly to the Microsoft Graph. Here you see um, the login in that slide, what it looks like, um, and how you can embed it inside a code, like inside an HTML page. So what about we drop the slides and we go straight into the demo? So let me... Uh, Close that here. Let me go straight there where I have a Visual Studio code um, totally empty. I don't have any files. I don't have anything in there. And here what I'm going to do, I will be creating a new file in there. I'm going to create a new file. It's going to be called index.html. So that way I can have that HTML file at the root of my app, like if I was building a single page application. And I will add in there the basics of my applications, right? So let me zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Uh, so here you're going to have like a regular HTML page, what it looks like, and that's it. That's the only thing that you have to do to get started. Then the next thing that you're going to have to do, uh, you're going to have to go in there and add MGT to the mix. You're going to want to add uh, the Microsoft Graph Toolkit as a dependency on this application. So how do you do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. As you're using simple HTML, there's no packages that you need to download or whatsoever. You just need to add a script reference directly in the head of your application, like the following. You just need to add the script. The source is the following where we have an, um, a um, 
a loader here, that's going to make sure that we're loading all the different pieces of our packages. So you don't have to load a ton of different capabilities. We are going to take care of that for you. So let me uh, add here a little bit of a title. Uh, hello, M365 developers. And then afterwards, let's start. So if I want to add components in there, if I want to add um, something that is MGT, here I can just uh, come in here, add a div, and just show you that. Hello, everybody, just to show you that we're actually, that it is working. I'm using as part of my VS code, um, an extension called live server. So I don't have to run a server on my machine or whatsoever to run that HTML page. I'm just gonna go live here. Uh, and on port uh, 5500, I'm gonna have an HTML uh, file that's gonna get served automatically. So that's the start. We don't have anything MGT in here. We have MGT loaded, but we're not doing anything specific with it. Now, when we're talking about connecting to Microsoft Graph, there is one aspect that is super important, and you're gonna have to create an application. You're gonna have to create an application in Azure AD, in Microsoft Identity Platform, to uh, act as a proxy between your app and your security constructs that lives in the Microsoft Identity world. So. Let me go and create that app for, for us. So you have a good understanding of what are the different steps to get things started. So the first thing you will want to do, you will want to go to your Azure portal. You might say, I don't have Azure connected to my environment or what server, but everybody has an AAD portal all the time uh, available. And one of the ways I use, uh, this is using the aad.portal.azure.com. That's gonna be a simplified version of the Azure portal that will just focus on the Azure Active Directory components. Let me log in right here. And in there, let me zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna go to my Azure Active Directory. That's the Azure Active Directory that backs my Office 365 or Microsoft 365 tenant, which is that M365X263 blah, blah, blah um, tenant that I have. And I'm gonna to go to the app registrations where I will be creating a first app registration with my application. So I'm gonna do a new registration. I'm gonna call it M365 platform. And I'm gonna decide, do I want this to be just for my own organization? Or do I want this app to be used by multiple organizations within their own tenant? So for this case, I'm gonna use this second one which is what we see a majority of our partners doing, but both of them are possible. If you wanna keep it just for your organization, you can create this one uh, as a organizational directory only, or you can do it as a multi-tenant. Then afterwards, we're asking you for a redirect URI. In my case, we are running the, the code at localhost 5500. So let me select that I wanna create a, a single page application that my redirect URI will be HTTP local OS 5500. And then I'm gonna hit register. That's great. Now my app was created. By default, I'm gonna get an application ID. I'm gonna also get a directory ID, which is the, the, the ID of my tenant, but I won't need it in that case. And I can go see in my API permissions that by default, um, an app always brings user.read, meaning that it can sign in and read the user profile of the connected user. And in our case for today, because we're just talking about the login component, that will be enough. In the future um, uh, sessions we're gonna have, we're gonna expand on these scopes, then we're gonna see uh, some of the content later on. So let me go back to my branding, my branding, my overview here. I'm just gonna keep it there so I can have an easy access to my application ID. So let me then afterwards go back to my um, HTML page and let me bring in the component of my, that I need to start my journey here. The first thing that I'm gonna need, I'm gonna re, like, I'm remove my hello everybody, but I'm just gonna paste in 
What is the provider that I want to use? The provider is what will handle all of the authentication for you. You're, I am, we are lazy developers. So we don't want to code all of the really, really complex capabilities that come with authentication. So what we're doing here, we're leveraging the MSAL2 provider that MGD provides to really streamline your authentication. You're going to see how great this is. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to copy my application ID here. I'm going to paste it as my client ID right here. So now automatically when a component will request access to Microsoft Graph, it's going to look at the provider and ask the provider, am I already connected? If I'm not connected, can you connect me before I do any calls to Microsoft Graph? So how do we start? We're going to just add the MGT login component. So again, I want to mention and highlight. You see these components. Do they feel like they are natural HTML components? They are not. They are web components. So when you're loading MGT via the loader here, this means that automatically it also registers as part of your DOM new elements that you can use. And that's really what MGT is about. It brings the MGT login component and all the other components that we're going to use later to be available as simple HTML components like any other div, span, or paragraph tags. So now let me just hit save on this. And let me go back to here. Well, let me go back. Wait a second. That went way too fast, right? Let me go 5500. Zero, zero right here. Give me a second. I'm just going to make sure that I do it on purpose. I'm pretty sure that I have something in my cache that tells me that I'm already logged in, and that's why it does the flow here. But anyway, that's OK. Um, in that case, you see, I was automatically redirected to this screen, a screen that is hosted by Microsoft, making sure that, hey, by the way, you're going to be logged in, but you're going to be logged into an application. And this application will do the following things. It's going to sign you and read your profile, and it's going to maintain access to data that have uh, given it access to. So these are kind of the bare bones consents that you're going to get when you're going to connect to Graph. As a user you, um, or as a developer, you can decide, do I want all the users to accept the consent, or do I want the admin to pre-consent it? It's up to you. And then here, I can just hit Accept. And automatically, I'm going to be redirected. And now what do we see? We see the component that turned from sign in to my name and my face coming directly from Microsoft Graph. And when I click on this, now we have the full-blown login component that shows up right here. What is great with this is now, because I am logged in, I can actually call Graph with the scopes that I have access to, in that case, the scopes of um, the current user with user.read, where I can do a little bit more. So here, yes, I have MGT, but MGT also provides me a way to get access to any areas of Microsoft Graph. So let me show you a quick example here. Let me do this. I'm gonna go to my um, sample here. I'm just gonna add a very simple pre. So basically that's gonna be like formatted a little bit like if it was code, that element here, we're going to add the current user information, the user that is connected. So how do we do that? Well, we do this in a very simple way. We add, we're going to add a script tag to our code. And we will be just at the end of the code, we're going to just do this. So I have my script tag where when the provider will get updated. So basically when we're going to get logged in, all right, when we're ready, I want you to load the current user. And how do we do that? Well, as part of some of the variables and the content that is available with MGT, I have the global provider, its state. I can get access to the graph client that was already authenticated, so I don't have to re-authenticate. I'm going to graph, I'm going to use the graph client. I'm going to call the slash me. And when I get the results back, I'm just going to display it as my results straight into my user info pre um, 
uh, tag here. So that way I'm going to see all the user info of my user. Let me save that. Let me go back here. And now, as you can see, it's automatically reloaded and it added this in here. So not only we covered today the login component, but we also covered some of the internals of the provider capabilities that are offered with uh, the marks of Graph Toolkit. So let me just quickly go back to slides before we end up today. A couple of resources, if you want to know more about MGT, aka.ms slash MGT, our docs, our playground, and our learn modules are available. And all the code that we will be going through in the next couple of sessions together will be available at the aka.ms slash MGT slash sandbox. So if you want to go and play around and see how you can also get your own MGT login component on your HTML page, you're more than welcome to go and uh, clone that repo. Brian, back to you. Thank you so much, Seb. Awesome stuff to see in terms of getting started with the uh, MGT and some of the different controls out there. Really appreciate you coming on and getting to share that good, uh, good stuff for this. Mm -hmm.